from turning. And this is turning into a decent spell from Telford. But there's a mistake by Vaughan. Heads it against Rolt. And the referee's given handball. And Rolt had chipped it over Griffiths, who had stopped because the whistle had gone. But the referee judging that it was handball. Well, that's a big, big let off for Telford and for Lee Vaughan. His throw cleared by Street. Oswell gets there first with his head and then picks up the ball and releases Vaughan. Now they've got men down the centre if Walker can look up quickly. Gets the ball in, it's a decent ball. Hardy, now Cowens on the right edge. Into the back post and headed clear by Harry Flowers. It will be a throw in. Well, that could have been a push, there was a bit of contact. But a throw for Telford here next to the players' tunnel on our far right-hand side. It's to the feet of Hardy. Cowens, deep ball, header downwards. Nobody on the penalty spot. Good work by Jason Oswell. Big Theo. Mullen Medzi looked very good on the ball as Mullen Medzi and his range of passes have been good too. Now here's Unlove. And he plays it out square to the right-hand side. Miles with the cross. Telford man down in Theo Street, but it's on the back post. Low drills it in. Sutton's there. Two players to shoot, though. And uh, it was Brad Rolt who skies it into the Hamer stand. Who kicks it out of play, but Telford looking to pin Brackley back inside their half here. And here's Walker. Back to Meppen Walters. Up and under. Oswell, it doesn't drop. Appeals of handball. And it's given. Penalties being given here for Telford. The linesman on the far side flagged. And the referee had a good view too. And now Telford have a chance to take the lead in uh, what has been a pretty tight game so far. At quite close proximity, but the referee's argument would be arm is away from the body. Therefore, with this new interpretation of the law, it's a penalty kick. And... Well, both sides have struggled to create an open play, Nick. It was perhaps fitting it would be a set piece potentially that makes the difference. Williams for Telford then. Can he give Telford the lead from the penalty spot? He does! Telford lead by a goal to nil against Brackley. Those long legs of his. Hardy is on the ball. It's a, the pass could have been better there because Oswell was well placed. And Flowers defends well. Telford have good control of this game. They aren't happy with the decision given by the referee there, but so far so good, Steve, because um, they've looked the yeah, better of the really two happy. teams, haven't yeah, they? they? They're really, really happy with how the second half's gone. Another good challenge by Cowens. Telford really on top of their game here. Walker, side ball to Hardy. And now Lee Vaughan enters the Brackley half. It's a great ball into the back post, and the defender does ever so well because Henry Cowan's made a, a lung-busting run to that back post. And now back to Byrne in an excellent challenge by Walker. Now Walker on the break. He's got Hardy and Oswell. Now Hardy, head down, drives forward here. Oswell to the right. Williams into a good position. Hardy's going to go for goal. Shoots, and it's wide. Great at the hotel end Griffiths kicks long headers won by Williams Oswell he gets goal side of uh, Coleman's but then defenders get back into place crosses into Williams and uh, slightly facing the way the goal well, Telford in the right half here they have a throw in Lee Vaughan Next to the corner flag, left wing to Hardy. Chips it past Byrne, into the box. Williams shoots, and it hits Byrne on the way through to goal. It's a corner. Moat, and who the, who's the referee going to book here? He's calling over Shane Sutton, the captain. It's a yellow card. No idea what that's been given for. Must have been in the build-up to uh, what was going on. Shrug of the shoulders from Steve. Oh, there was a pull there by Byrne on Unlove. Inside the box. And the one sends it long down the left. 
Lowe turns, Cowens is behind him. Still Lowe has the ball though. Trying to get past Cowens, he does so to the dead ball line. It's a good cross and headed away by Mepp and Walters. But now Miles for Brackley. McHale dived in. Oh, he brought him down. It's a free kick. Contact just outside the penalty area. This is a dangerous position. It is very dangerous. This is right channel, two yards outside the box. You can hear Theo Street. If, if it's the person, you can hear bellowing out instructions. That's all coming from Theo Street. He's got to be careful. The striker's got around him. It's shipped into the back post. And it's not a goal. Harry Flowers leapt up from Brackley on the counter-attack. Here's Waltz into the box for 17-year-old on loan from Peterborough. Looking for his first league goal for Brackley after scoring a brace, two, in the FA Cup on Saturday. Cross in from the left, away by Street for Telford. It's a corner and Brackley now applying some pressure. Telford ahead by a goal to nil. Who's your man of the match, Steve? Oh, there's been some great performances, but it's got to be Hardy, hasn't it, I think? I mean, who else could you give it to? I mean, there's been lots of, of sevens out of tens, eight out of tens, but I think Hardy's been the best. Vaughan plays the ball in, and Telford get a second! Jason Oswell with the header on the back post, and Telford should now have sealed this victory. It was Hardy who played it out to Vaughan, and Vaughan with a very good cross, and there was Jason Oswell with the header. Working out to the right wing with uh, McHale. Hovering around the edge of the Brackley box. Played into midfield to Burn. Oh, it's good movement, isn't it, from Hardy? Here is Hardy. Could be a third. It is a third. What a strike by Hardy. Magical from the former Warsaw man. And Telford make it three. Yeah, he's been magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. They've got to play here. Tell Brackley nil. Have your say on the verdict. Text us 81333. Start your text with the word drop. And Telford have emphatically won here against Brackley by three goals to nil.